Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapring Chronicles. Today we're back at you with another ratchet or ratchet set video. Uh, this is a batch of ratchets that uh, I bought as a set, and they kind of came with some interesting stuff going on with them. Not sure what the deal is. Uh, but anyway, before we jump into all that, uh, if you could do me a favor and hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel if uh, you're into ratchets or tools or you find this at all entertaining. Okay, um, yeah, like I said, I bought this set of uh, ratchets and they're all New Britain design, uh, the New Britain floating pole design. A ratchet, I think uh, a lot of people call uh, these ratchets the Kilness. I think that's how you say the designer was called Kilness. I'm hope I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. If not, you guys can correct me. Uh, design. I think it, these were they came out around the 50s, late 50s, and it was kind of a kind of a, a a breath of fresh air i guess you can say as far as ratchet design because it kind of ushered in kind of a new uh mechanism and it kind of took off where it was very popular for a good amount of years i say from the late 50s to at least the late 70s or 80s so you know, a, a pretty popular design, and also it came with numerous brands. And here's four. Here's four different brands. We have an American Forge, a Matco, a, a actual New Britain, and a Sparta. And some of the brands were kind of uh, a bit uh, lackluster more than others like uh like the sparta was kind of a i guess by its name is is pretty spartan uh on the outside uh cosmetically was kind of more spartan or or less adorned or polished than something like the new britain or some of these others like a matte coal would be as you can see here it's kind of got like a matte mattish uh, finish uh, not as well uh, polished as the others but uh, there might be something else going on here besides uh, the lack of polish with some of these but let me let me get into it uh, here's an American Forge and American Forge was a company uh, I guess uh, came up by came up that New Britain came up with after in the Lighten years a Lytton or Lighten they were bought by an aerospace company uh, I think in the early 70s and uh, yeah and they came up with different names uh, when they were under this company I think they were under Lighten for probably from the early 70s to the mid 80s and one of their brands was they came up with was American Forge um, yeah th these are just brands internally these are all basically the same ratchet uh, I think they're the same tooth count I think the early ones which is kind of weird earlier versions of uh, the new Britain design had finer teeth and then later versions i guess like these had a little bit more coarse uh less teeth i'm not sure why usually as we have now there's a race to the more teeth the better but i think they probably came into some problems with uh with the finer tooth ones and they went with a more coarse uh, tooth ratchet and yeah even though these were very good a very good design and um, you know a very workable uh, ratchet uh, I think 
they might have had I mean, this is just conjecture on my part they might have had problems with the fine teeth slipping a little bit more uh, so they probably in my mind they went to a more coarse ratchet but that's just conjecture uh, you guys who know more please share and let me know uh, why they went from a finer tooth to a more coarse tooth towards the end uh, okay we have the American Forge and it has the patent there for this design and we have a Matco which I I really didn't know Matco uh, really had they did a Matco this is kind of surprising to me when I first saw this it says Matco uh, the symbol USA and Cryon I think that's how they pronounce that and this is the Matco version of this design uh, not really sure when uh, this happened uh, I'm gonna I think maybe during the lightning years I could be wrong but there you go there's a Matco of this design and here's the new Britain and these two are the anomalies here uh, something went on here and I think these may be factory seconds this one and the Sparta because if you look here and you look at the uh, stamping you can see it's all messed up uh, they double stamped it here and you see uh, two new two Britons and the numbers and then two USA's okay so they messed up on this one and then you turn it over and then is actually okay on this side uh, New Britain NS65 USA that's how it should look but it looks like they were practicing on this side and they double stamped it and then they just turned it over and stamped it here and said we'll go with that maybe uh, I don't know we'll sell it as a factory second and the Sparta the Sparta I have another Sparta the same Sparta as this one uh, these are all half inch by the way also half inch drives and I do I have another Sparta which is identical to this this one is a bit more rough than the other one the other one has it does have some polish you can tell it's probably not as good quality as these or the new Britain but that one still had some polish this one looks rough uh, kind of all the way through it's got like a matte finish the cap switch here is you can see is fairly rough this one also has a stamping mistake it has uh, you see kind of like these lines starting up here and they go across under the stamping and there's one line that starts up here also doesn't go across though but they did mess up the stamping it's Sparta CS45 and only U so it should be USA and what they did they turned it over and they stamped Sparta CS45 and the, you can see the USA there a, a bit better here you see on top that line also going across more than on this side this you see the bottom line going across here the top not so much but on this side you see the top line going across a little bit more so I'm, I'm thinking this was probably a factory second they all function as they should uh, inside looked okay but let me just uh, I'm just gonna show the inside I'm not gonna tear down uh, total tear down on these if you want to see total tear down on this style of ratchet I have videos on my channel and go to playlists and look up New Britain and there I have a couple of videos at least 
of this design and how to tear it down and what it looks like inside and all the parts and all that this uh, I'm tearing I'm opening the Matco because I guess this is the more premium one and this is the most expensive one that if you were to look up this design I guess Matco always for some reason Matco you know it demands a premium and this is what it looks like inside uh still a little bit dirty i didn't totally take it apart and clean it i did do a little bit of cleaning but not not to where i usually do and you can see it's basically that that regular uh new britain design there's nothing special or uh looks any better any worse than any yeah, even the Sparta, uh, we'll open that one up too. And you can see here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teeth. And like I was saying, the earlier versions of these ratchets had a more finer tooth count. And let's open the Sparta. Ooh. goes and as you can see this is the Matco and this is the Sparta and they're basically the same uh, on the inside the quality isn't any better or any worse on these ratchets also uh, 9 teeth on this one looks pretty decent has a little bit of I think I put DW WD40 to clean it up a little bit, but yeah, basically the same. Uh, this one's a little bit rusted. Mm, I gotta dub when I take it apart. I probably put it in a vapor rust or something. But um, same quality, same uh, everything. This one. This one you're going to pay a premium for because, like I said, it was Matt, it's Matt Co. And this one, uh, when you find it, you're probably going to pay a couple of bucks for it because it's uh, not so pretty and uh, no one knows, <laughs> no one knows Sparta, that name, too well. So, you know, you're not going to pay a lot for that, even though. This one and that one, as far as working, they probably work exactly the same and as good quality. All right, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this weird batch of uh, New Britain designed ratchets that I picked up, especially those double uh, stampings that are kind of weird. Uh, never really came across something like that. But like I said, probably a factory second. And, uh, you know, I guess they finished the ratchet and they don't want to throw it out. So they just, uh, <laughs> they just stamp it on the bottom uh, correctly. All right, guys, until next time. <laughs>